What's up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, I'll be leaving the links for everything linked down below. And give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button. I want to say thank you, thank you so much uh, for 75,000 subscribers. I love each and every single one of you from the bottom of my gay little heart. I want to wish all of my subscribers a beautiful and happy holiday season. And let's go ahead and jump into the season even though I'm super late at this point. Today we're going to be doing my top 10 favorite purchases of the year. First things first is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So you guys know I was the first one to buy them when the tote bag first came out. I remember doing the truck at Nordstrom about two years ago in the springtime when I was still working there. I bought the green one and that was my first one and then uh, I slowly started to get a lot of tote bags. I actually have quite a bit of tote bags in my collection. Um, I do have a Marc Jacobs video which I'll leave linked down below but I, my collection has literally doubled if not tripled since that video. We've got this one. This is in the color wolf gray. This is actually supposed to be under the Christmas tree but I decided to show you a little early so you will see this in my Christmas haul but I just want to show you this is a beautiful color. Look how pretty it is and I love the name wolf gray. Um, there's a pair of Jordans that I've always wanted that are called wolf grays. Um, I'm not a Jordan person. I'm not a Nike person. I don't wear those brands. But if I were to pick one pair of Jordans, they'd definitely be Wolf Grey, and I have it in the um, medium size. What I'm going to be showing you is going to be the one in Argan Oil, and it is currently the handbag that I am literally using. I have my entire makeup bag in here. I have my wallet. I have <laughs> hairspray. I have all my stuff. I usually have my laptop on me. So the reason why I love this one and why this made it as my number one pick, first of all, through links, you guys bought in the tote bag. It is the number one bag through my links that has sold through the entire year. This bag is the perfect size for me. I don't really like the minis. Um, just for me, I much rather carry other bags if, it, if, it was, if I'm going for a mini. And those mini bags are not dinner bags. I travel, they're really nice bags, but since I already have so many of the medium size, I feel like it's a little too repetitive. I, like I have a few of these. And so for me, um, I think the medium size is the perfect everyday size for me just because I love to personally carry an agenda. I love to carry my camera. I love to carry my laptop. So for me, this fits everything without it being too big. I do think the large one is too large. I would only get that one for travel. I have yet to have a large one, which is $550. I will plan on buying it once I do a little bit more traveling in the new year. But as of now, my daily bag, especially commuting from Dallas to Houston, um, the medium size in the leather, which I have a few of them, has been the perfect size. And if you guys have been thinking about it, I would say go for it. Like I said, I feel like I have minis, but like I said, I don't reach for the minis as much just because I much rather have the medium size. And if I'm going to do a mini size bag, I much rather carry like my Tory Burch Eleanor, um, my YSL 57 bag, my Prada Nylon. I much rather reach for those bags, my Lil Wavy Puzzle bag, than to reach for the Marc Jacobs one just because it's two, the same bag in two different sizes. And I feel like I wear the same bag over and over, but just in different variations. But I would say if you are thinking about the canvas or the jacquard or the leather, I definitely wouldn't get the canvas now that I see how things wear over time. I would definitely get the jacquard if you do want a fabric bag or I would get the leather. I think it's worth it and I think for a full leather bag, basically this bag has been through the gigs. I have the black one. It's been through hell and back from the moment that I've had it and it's worn so well. Literally, If I give it a good clean, it literally looks brand new, it looks current, it looks nice. I like that it has a little bit of gold hardware on it so that I can wear silver jewelry, I can wear gold jewelry, I can wear whatever. It doesn't really clash. It's very seamless and I love it. And so if you've been wanting a nice work bag, a school bag, or everyday bag in any size, um, I love them and the tote bags will be going strong in 2023 and I'll probably purchase maybe like two or three more in the next year and I think I'm capped out because I feel like I have the same bag like in so many variations. But oh, I do love it. Second one is going to be a pair of sunglasses. So the sunglasses of the year are these ones right here and they are a pair of Miu Miu. So basically these are like this, you know, Prada and Miu Miu are part of the same family, but these are basically like the, the Miu Miu versions of the Prada runway glasses. And I just kind of wanted something a little different than the Prada ones because I felt like I kept wearing the Prada ones a little too much and I do love this style. And the reason why I love the style of these glasses is because I take my skincare very seriously and I love when the glasses uh, shield me on the side. When I'm driving on the side, 
I used to be a big aviator fan or a big like simple wire uh, and I still wear those from time to time but I prefer the thicker ones because I find when I'm driving especially since I commute a lot I don't like the sun to hit my side of my eye and I feel like that will age me over time and so I definitely prefer glasses that are more wrap around or that have more of a thicker side that covers my side eyes and I think overall it will protect me and I feel like it will protect my under eyes in the long run and my eyes in the long run so I have definitely preferred wrap around glasses a lot more within the last couple of years these ones are a little bit more of a feminine shape than I would per se like but nonetheless, I love them. I get so many compliments. I love the little super gaudy Mew Mew sign on them. I do have a secret website where you can get all of the authentic Lazotica sunglass brands for a fraction of the cost. I believe these are $540 and I think I only paid maybe like $270. I'll definitely be leaving that link uh, on there and I always get questions if that website is legit. The answer is yes and you guys already know. You guys can always DM me any questions on Instagram. Um, but definitely the Mew Mew glasses have been definitely taken the take. And when I'm wearing a super simple outfit, I just love the little gaudy gold detail. I think it's super cute. I'm here for it. It's definitely been getting a lot of wear. And I purchased these, um, I want to say, around September. And I am obsessed with them. Another handbag that I've been loving. This one was quite kindly gifted from the Demelio brand. Um, they're my Demelio family. They gifted me the Vancouver handbag. I'm not particularly sure of the color, but like I said, I'll leave it in the description box. Um, this is a great alternative. Uh, this is a great bag by itself. I don't want to compare it to other bags because I think this is beautiful and I love the message and everything behind this brand. This comes in at $460. It has this beautiful gold hardware and this is plated. You just open it up and it has a beautiful flap. It has a zipper and it has a pocket and I've actually used this bag yesterday. Uh, if you guys probably seen one of my videos earlier this year, they did give me a beautiful note and you guys know I appreciate notes like that. I really, really cherish them. And so I want to say I got this in, in probably the beginning of summer. I love this bag. This is a great alternative if you do like like the new coach bag that has the that type of same style. If you do like the Toy Birch Eleanor, if you like that Celine Tro Trophy style bag, like this very boxy Celine box bag style handbag. I think this one for under $500, I think it is exceptional value. The leather is beautiful, the quality is beautiful. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. Now, if you do want to visit um, this beautiful handbag in person um, here in Houston, I do know that Neiman Marcus does carry Demelier handbags uh, in their Houston location, um, but I have seen them, I have seen this bag handbag brand carried at Saks and Neiman's and I believe Nordstrom recently started carrying them too. Um, I think that they're beautiful. I think that they're so effortlessly. They have so many other bags like totes and other satchels and I think that they are so beautiful. You guys know my style during the day is very much I would like to say like suburban mom elevated like style. I would say that's my style for the most part and then during the night is when I become a little bit more like I wear a little bit more logos, I wear a little bit more branding, but during the day, this is a perfect day bag. I have used this one for dinner before, um, but I just think it's the perfect carry-on a bag when I don't have to carry my laptop with me. This one fits my phone, my wallet, my hair mist, it fits absolutely everything, and I just love the color. I don't really have a lot of colored handbags that are neutral, and I feel like this one is absolutely perfect, so if you have been thinking about this bag, I would say go ahead and go for it, and I do think it is worth it, and like I said, Neiman Marcus in Houston Galleria does carry this brand if you do want to discover these handbags um, in person. This one is going to be a wishlist item that has been on my wishlist for many years. You guys, if you, I probably have talked about this hat, this hat since I lived at my parents' house back in Grand Prairie, Texas. And so this is the Misan Michelle hat. Ever since I saw Anna Bay wear this from School of Affluence, I was totally in love. I'm sold. Nikki Hilton also wears a lot of these hats. A lot of people wear these hats. They are beautiful. They actually make a lot of the Chanel hats um, that you see on the runway. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, well wool felt hat. I wanted to invest in a high quality one um, because I always feel like the ones that I would buy, I feel like they would lose its shape. I feel like it wouldn't hold up. And um, earlier this year, I had the opportunity to purchase this. I want to say this was in late spring, early summer. And when I tell you I use this all the time, 
Um, it is an investment hat. It has the Misan Michelle and black hardware with this beautiful ribbon detail throughout it. And I just love this detail throughout it right here. And I love it. Now this hat, honestly, and I have a big head. A lot of my hats from other brands, mainstream to designer, they're usually uh, large or extra large for this one. I definitely, this one's a large, I definitely could have even taken a medium. I remember I was in my friend's uh, vehicle and the, the whole top was down. And I do remember I had, we were going down the tollway and I do remember I had to like pinch the hat really hard because I did not want the hat to blow away. But it is beautiful, it is stunning. It's a beautiful hat that I can wear year round. Next year, I definitely do see myself purchasing it in a beautiful brown color or in another neutral color. Just because it is, when I don't have a haircut, I love to wear hats. So, so right now, I'm on day seven of a haircut. I'm not supposed to get a haircut earlier. I'm supposed to get a haircut later today. Um, but usually by five, by five, day six and seven, I usually wear hats, five, six, seven. And so I, I reach for this hat weekly. I, if, if not, I wear it two to three times a week. And I love it. So if you've been wanting a nice, beautiful, well-made hat, um, I would visit the Misan Michelle ones. They're well-made, they're beautiful, they're well worth your money, and I am in love with. This one are going to be, you know, these ones were in my worst purchase. Um, of 2022 but i did get the shoe fixed with a little bit of glue i will leave that video linked down below but regardless the shoes are a little worn um i, I need to clean them um they're not necessarily like dirty i i'm just showing you them dirty a little bit just so you can see that i actually wear the shoes like the shoes are actually getting worn I have probably wear these three times a week. Um, these are the Prada loafers. These are a little bit different than the ones that I have in black. These ones are a little bit more of a feminine style. They're not as chunky or as over exaggerated. I bought these ones in San Marcos and I have been using this Prada loafer nonstop. Nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And I am in love with it. Um, I do love the Prada loafers. I do prefer them over the Gucci ones and the reason is because um, If I the way I use the Prada loafers The Gucci ones would never survive the way I use them my Gucci white loafers I've only worn them a handful of times and they look they look trash I definitely have to take them to Dino's in Highland Park to get them uh, some sort of fix and the black ones are fine because they're black they're not as noticeable but the gucci loafers definitely do not put up nowhere as near as the prada ones so if you are going between i would say the prada ones are the better wardrobe investment because i feel like they'll hold up a lot better especially if you're someone that's very very rough on their footwear like i am i definitely give my shoes especially designer a run for their money and for the most part they tend to hold up really well um, so I love them and these are the shoe of the year for Sergio Secrets closet. I love them Están padrísimas and if you've been thinking about them I would say go ahead and go for them and I feel like these ones will definitely go You know these have been out probably for like at this point two years and all the variations I would say they're still gonna go strong next year because for the same thing They're worth the investment because they're gonna hold up a lot better than other loafers and other competitors now, another designer loafer that I do want to purchase probably in the next year will probably end up being either the Celine loafers or the Miu Miu loafers, but we shall find out. But I would say the Prada ones um, will give you a run for your money and they will definitely hold up on you. So I think that they are definitely worth a wardrobe investment and that's why they are the footwear category of the year. Another item is going to be these Ray-Ban glasses. Now, a lot of people ask me, if I actually wear optical glasses. No, these are the best glasses that money can ever buy you. I've been wanting these glasses for uh, probably since when I was leaving Nordstrom, getting introduced, and these are, I forgot what they're called, but they're the Ray-Bans basically with the camera. So it has here, it tells you when it's charging. It has like a little button and you charge it through here. And so basically you can get your prescription on them. Um, I bought these ones probably around my birthday, so around September. These do have the UV protection on them, and so they do get darker if I am outside. I don't really like the glare that you see on the camera, but I normally don't film with them. Like They're not filming glasses in my case. Um, so basically, they have a camera right here. They have a camera right there. Um, and there's multiple reasons why I bought them. So I'm going to tell you everything that you can do with these glasses. First of all, they're glasses. They're UV protection. They have a, you can take camera video, you can take pictures, you can take phone call, and you can listen to music. 
And so that's very six things that I love and that I cherish. Now for me, I have an issue with AirPods. I feel like over time, AirPods as we age, I've been using AirPods since they first came out. I have a feeling as we age, you know, just the amount of music that I listen to, I definitely prefer the music to be listened through here. That's not directly inside my ear. I can definitely hear it a lot better. And I feel like over time, my hearing will be perfect. You know, your hearing is very delicate. It's very irreversible. So I want to make sure that I take care of my ears and basically things that I can hear. I My earring and my eyesight is 20-20. It's perfect top notch. But I'm just trying to make it as a preventative because I did notice that I did get the notification on my phone like, you know, you used your maximum for, you know, to listen to music or X, Y, and Z. So I feel like these ones were a perfect investment. Uh, these ones, I do wear them, <laughs> um, you know, when I'm out shopping, when I'm out doing my thing. Um, and I love to listen to music or whatever. I'm like doing my own thing and people like talk to him like I know like eh And so here you can press this button right here. I don't know if you can see here. I don't know if you guys can see It is recording and then I stop recording and you can double tap and then you can take a picture So it is very 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 like detective type style I do wear these a lot if I do go out and have like dinner with some of my with some of my girls and maybe we do like a little cheers um, they're definitely cute or you know when you're like when you're going to a concert or when you're doing certain things that you feel like when you pull out your phone it kills the vibe I think they're called the Ray-Ban capture and it just captures the moment like right now they're on and I'm recording a video um, they're definitely beautiful they're definitely very nice they're definitely a conversation starter um, my friend said I look like Harry Potter in them but I love them and usually I'm the type of person that loses my glasses a lot but I've been taking care of these babies and um, I love them. I love, love, love them. And these are probably one of my top three purchases of the year. Definitely worth them. Very sneaky, but I do really, really like them. None of the This one is going to be the Marc Jacobs J Mark. It would not be a video if I did not mention the Marc Jacobs J Mark. Purchased this probably like a week before 4th of July. I'm very good on the time frames when I purchase items. Um, it has a beautiful black leather. Mine is in the tricolor. I got this one versus like the black or white one because this one had um, the webbing strap on it versus the black and white one said Marc Jacobs on it. So I definitely prefer like the more discreet. The only burning is here. You can take the webbing strap off. You can take the chain strap off. You can keep them both on. Personally, um, the way I'm built, I probably wouldn't use it with a chain. I definitely prefer to carry it more like this. It kind of makes it more cool and more edgy. It has a back pocket for my cell phone. And then on the inside, it definitely fits so much. You have a zipper compartment, a main compartment, and then a front compartment, which I can put my car case easily. And this bag reaches for $425, and it is perfect. Yeah, I've been reaching for it so much. I just love the very discreet, the very discreet of this. And these two have definitely been the crossbodies of the year or the satchels of the year. And if you have been wanting a Marc Jacobs handbag that's not a tote bag, I would honestly go for the J Mark over the Snapchat. And the reason is because I do have a Snapchat and I do like them, but I prefer this one just because the Snapchats for me, I prefer to use those more as day bags. This bag I would use during the day and the night. I feel like the chain makes the bag a lot more dressy. Um, in my opinion, it gives it more glam, it gives it more pizzazz, and all the J Marks, even the mini ones, all have chains. And so for me, it just kind of makes it, it gives it an extra, mm, it makes it more glamorous to use. And so for me, I feel like I can definitely make it more casual, I can take the chain off, um, I can keep the chain on. It just make, mixes and matches more for my lifestyle, and it's very free. Um, it's been through the gigs, and this leather, guys, when I too, my, put my bag through the gigs, it literally looks brand new. Maybe if I need to stuff it a little bit better, I'm not the best when it comes to stuffing my bags. But when I tell you guys, there is not one scratch on this bag, and I'm rough on my stuff, and it's holding up pretty well. I do love it a lot. So, Marc Jacobs J Mark, definitely one of my favorite crossbodies of the year. Yeah, well, these are the top two, but I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a beautiful, perfect bag under $500. And something like this in Troy Birch or another brand nowadays would easily cost you easily $600. So, I would say definitely this is worth your money. And if you ever get to feel this, or if any of you guys own this, 
you guys can attest the quality of this leather is phenomenal and it's not like other Marc Jacobs bags. It does have a little bit of a coating on it just so it prevents uh, scratches and that's what I like about it. Kind of like Kate Spade bags on how they have that dream treatment where yes, it will scratch if you go like that really hard. But you know, if you like bump into something, uh, it does have that little bit of a treatment so it will withstand it and I think that's what makes it last a lot longer and even on the lighter sides of the bag. So. I did want to go ahead and point out that information. Next item is going to be from Michael Kors. And this would not be a video without me mentioning anything from Michael Kors. I love Michael Kors. But I want to say the Michael Kors item that I've been using a lot. So I got this one during Pride Month. And if you guys know, I did a whole PR trip with Michael Kors earlier in the summer. But these bracelets are definitely it. So these bracelet sets are beautiful. So the bracelet here, this is the one that came in the box. It is rose gold. It has these beautiful... Um, kind of gemstones on it. I'm not a big rainbow person when it comes to like pride month and stuff I would much rather wear a black t-shirt But I do like details like this that I would wear because it doesn't necessarily associate a whole lot with that And I can get away with wearing it year-round um, And this one is the very first one so in these bracelets they were only a hundred made and I actually have the very first one so like I said a lot of my things that I have have meaning have a lot of value and so that's why I love it and so I will always cherish this but then when I went on the trip I did get these two pave ones in silver and in gold and I wear them as my little trio bracelet set and I get so many compliments so much wear when I wear them and so I did want to mention this this is probably my favorite piece of jewelry um, that I have and I think that they're worth it and people usually it's some the one that I like to wear a lot is this gemstone one it kind of reminds me of like something that like Shea Jewelry would make which is very, in a very very expensive jewelry brand and it just looks so expensive. You guys have no idea how much I get complimented on this bracelet. Like, so much. Like, so much. I get so many compliments. And I also get compliments over them as a trio. But definitely this rose gold one, um, it takes the cake on compliments. Like, it definitely looks like, especially if your outfit is very elevated, it's very polished, you look on point. This bracelet easily elevates you a lot more. And like I said, people have stopped me thinking that it's a $10,000 bracelet. And also, you know, it matches my personality, the way I walk, my energy. And so I'm definitely giving very much elevated vibes. So I'm going to keep this one for the rest of the video. But those bracelets are very, very pretty. And like I said, I tend to wear the stack when I wear short sleeves. But when I'm wearing more third quarter sleeves or a full length sleeve, I just tend to wear the rose gold one. But nonetheless, all of them I stun you. Next bag, which is going to be my birthday gift. And you'll be seeing a lot of Versace stuff on my Christmas list. Like I said, shh. I'm not supposed to share. I like, you know, I, I, no tengo paciencia. Like, I just like to open things and get away and go ahead and use it. Versace La Medusa. Um, I do have it with a strap. The chain on it is right here on the inside. I got this one as a uh, birthday gift to myself. It's very cute, very different, very out of my style. But I get so many compliments every time I wear it out. I tend to wear the strap during the day and the chain during the night. I don't usually wear them together. But I always keep them both together in case of if, I, if I do need to be hands free or if I do want to be a little bit more glam with the chain. Um, but you'll be seeing, I don't want to talk a lot about this bag because I will be talking about this bag um, in another video and more into detail because I have been getting questions about La Medusa. But um, I love it and this is definitely um, one of the favorite handbag purchases of the year. And more unexpected but expected, you know what I mean? So uh, definitely do love this. And the last item, which is going to be item number 10, is going to be this set, which I have worn like multiple times. It gets washed like once a week. It is this Marc Jacobs monogram set. Um, they're both extra small and they are so huge. I love them. I breathe in them. I, if I'm spending the night at my cousin's house, at my friend's house, am I just chilling? I wear them all the freaking time. I am in love with them. Um, this set is definitely my signature this set. If you guys have been wanting some nice loungewear, uh, this Marc Jacobs set is sicking the house. It's so beautiful. It's that chingona. It's that padrissima. I love it. And I quickly want to show you my number 10 option because, you know, I like to make my videos long because you guys know that I just talk and talk and talk and talk so much i can talk my entire life off this will be my top 10 favorite designer and contemporary purchases of the year i want to see what your favorite purchase of the year was definitely leave it leave the comment down below 
I want to say thank you so much for 75,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys on the next video. I love each and every single one of you. And um, I cannot wait for you guys to see uh, what I got for Christmas. And I'll be doing a few more videos before the end of the year. Before I become more consistent in January. Quiero, los quiero, los quiero mucho. Y los miro hasta la próxima video. Bye guys and take care.